Uh oh. I'm about seven, eight pounds of boost now. Oh, yeah, so we got it fixed? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So the other week we had a little bit of a leak. We tightened some clamps and we think we got to figure it out. Yeah. But Rob wants more whooshy noises. Uh oh. That's what everybody likes to see on their Pro Charged Mustangs. That big red. Look at that thing. This is the tile. You know, I'm probably going to do the tile on mine as well. And I was looking at the reviews online and everybody was talking about, you know, between the tile and the Pro Charge with the big red top or whatever. Yeah. Like, there's no difference. It's just that the, you're paying more money for the big red top. Kind of same thing like going with the ESS kit or a Pro Charger kit. I mean, you want to pay more money just for the Pro Charger name? Right. That all means throw down an extra freaking three grand. I know a lot of the ESS guys are, are jumping to this, and I may actually do the same just to do a video comparison. So it's kind of cool that you've got this version because this is what I'm probably going to graduate to what are, what are they over saying? the precision. What are they saying about the Th This is louder. It's definitely, this is huge. Like the precision is like way smaller than this. Oh, is that what you got on there now? Precision? Yeah. Uh, they're not that expensive actually. No. It's 260 bucks. Yeah. So as you see in the beginning of this, we're going to do a tile. Compare it to what's factory on, well, what came with his Pro Charger. So if this is louder, then it's definitely going to be probably an upgrade over what I've got in my car. So I, I'm hoping so. And then I guess we can take a drive later on the video to see if this is actually in a louder so I've been in this car several times and I can tell you that you can't really hear much so I'm hoping that this will do the trick I know Rob is hoping it'll do the trick so let's put it on the car and see what it does let's see if it makes a difference let's go all right we're gonna be it's really hot we're gonna be uh, a little lazy. We're gonna try to just see if we can get down in here. And it looks like we can not remove the whole bumper. It's a nightmare with the GT350, but. We've got a little bit of access here to our bypass valve that we're gonna go ahead and replace. But this is the location, which is nice. It's kind of up here on the top. All right guys, so as easy as that, we've got the factory bypass valve off that came with the Pro Charger kit. And this is kind of the way that this works. Under boost vacuum, it's gonna articulate like this. So, pretty easy design there's like a butterfly valve inside here I'll take it apart and show you exactly how that looks so you guys can get the idea but here is a size comparison of the tile versus what comes with it so this should be just by looking at it a whole lot louder I would think here's the problem that we're gonna might run into uh, that is a whole lot smaller all right guys we are here a whole week later so ran into Kind of not an issue, but uh, just a parts fitment thing with uh, the new stuff going on. So before we only had the tile, but what we needed was this adapter that goes on the bottom. It's like an inch and a half to a 50 millimeter adapter. So about a $25, $30 part. And anyway, so now we have it all together. We are ready to rock and roll. And the uh, cool thing about the 350 is we were able to get to back here where it fits without even jacking the car up. So all we're going to do is slide that in place right here. Our vacuum boost line right here to the top of. The, the fitting and that's pretty much it and we should be able to make uh, really cool noises so we'll get that done and take us about two seconds and then we'll take this thing for a road test and make sure that everything is working properly should be a lot faster because video coming soon we actually did a tile on this one here recently and totally transformed the way that car drove or the way that that car drives so video coming soon on my experience with the tile versus the uh precision which looks like this so again just one more look at it. This is the precision versus the tile. Massive difference, massive difference. And for whatever reason, mine does, does not, it's really hard to push in. This one is really easy. It's a whole lot easier, even though they should be similar springs. Don't know what the issue is. Maybe I just have a bad one, but uh, I don't know. It's a good thing to mention. So yeah, again, about this adapter plate. So if you have a GT350 with a Pro Charger setup, it's what you're gonna want to buy. And it's really cheap. You save a lot of money from going the Pro Charger route, right? Yeah, the Pro Charger big red top is like 400 bucks. Yeah, so you can save a bunch of money doing this. Yeah. So this will be as loud as the big red that everybody likes. Yeah. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, everybody says that's better than a big red. Really? Um, that's what they say. Well, the you know what? This is big and red. It is. <laughs> Here we got the precision tile, and then we have the contraption mess that comes with the uh, Pro Charger as factory. And I don't know why they do this. I really don't understand why can't they not just run a regular blow off valve in place so this honestly should perform better it's going to be easier to maintain uh easier to service if you ever need to and i think it's going to operate uh simpler whole contraption i've heard about the butterfly valves having issues so you can see down there like it opens and closes but why not just do something like that i have no idea 
what why Pro Charger does that, but I digress. All right, guys, we have it installed. Easy as that. Go ahead and fire it up. So it's open and it's blowing. Yep. You feel it? Oh yeah. It's pretty loud. Yeah, yeah, rev it. That's way louder. Awesome. That's got a wicked sound to it too, man. It's like Yeah, it's crazy loud. Holy crap. Yeah, because the other one you could even hear when you no, pulled in. Not at all, man. That's way loud. You couldn't hear that thing at all. It doesn't have that, that psh sound. It's got like a whoosh. It's, it's, like, it's yeah, like like yeah. running water almost. Yeah. It's interesting. Get on the road and take it for right. a spin. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Difference. You just hear that. You hear that constant yep. sound like it does on the uh, Vortec kit. Yep. You know, it sounds like a freaking fighter engine coming in. Yep. So we got jet. This is the sound I was looking for. for this centrifugal flow. It's this constant motion. Yeah. And it sounded like it's just trying to suck in babies in the earth. You know? <laughs> it's like a hurricane. Well, Colton has uh, dubbed my car's name a hurricane. Yeah, then I was like, oh, that's perfect. It is. It's off the hurricane. They'll like the way your sounds when you have the camera on the front mm -hmm. and you can hear as well. I don't know if I got that same sound on mine. I guess I have to put a camera up there to check it out. Yeah. But yours sounds badass. Yeah. So I can only imagine what it sounds like with that tile on there. It's, it's, my exhaust is not as loud as yours, too, so you can really, really hear it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I can just hear it freaking. like a running water it is. noise versus like a high-pitched, you know. All right, guys, so successful install. 
tile on a GT350 makes a big difference. Uh, drivability, he's saying it's made a difference there and definitely noise. But I'm gonna go take him for a spin now in mine. Let him feel what a similar horsepower 10 or 80 car feels like with a centrifugal blow with a, with a century ess and the tile as well exactly let's, let's go it.